Hello, welcome back. Um, this is a little bit of an unexpected video because I made a little bit of a change in our math. So I originally told you that we were not collecting anything or doing any assessments for these two weeks, and I was wrong, so I'm sorry. Um, I added something to math session five, um, and that should be, I believe, April 16th is the day that uh, on the map it says to do math session five. Um, the main part of this lesson was going to be kind of a game. So you can play the game. There's not really a lot of new things in this lesson, but along with the game, these are the documents you're gonna need, which I already did a video on that. Um, the last thing you're gonna do is this little puzzle piece. It says Unit 7, Module 3 Assessment. Um, so yes, it's for April 16th. So please remember you have to be logged into your child's account to take the test, just like we learned with the reading comprehension tests that we were doing. So log your student into Google and then go to the BV homepage and click Schoology. It should automatically log them in. So this assessment is just kind of to check up on the kids. So I want to see what the students can do. So students, you are doing this without help. Now, if you need help reading something, that's fine. But I want you doing the math on your own. And I do not expect you to be perfect. This is not really a grade for a grade card. This is for me to check in and see, are we understanding this? Is this hard? Is this easy? Where are we? And what should I plan next? So please encourage students to do this on their own. Um, you can see that it is going to be eight questions and the, there's going to be four adding. So you can see there's really not a lot of words. It says the directions are add and it gives you the two numbers to add and the last four same thing, but subtracting. Okay, so when you want to take the question or take the test, you will see the questions and they have uh, multiple choice answers. So this might take you a little bit of time. You have unlimited time to do it. I would suggest having some kind of um, counter to use. So this could be, I gave you guys some blocks or cubes. Um, there might not be enough cubes. So if you have your own kind of Legos, I think Legos are a great thing to use. You also have popsicle sticks, you could use those, you could combine your um, cubes and popsicle sticks to make the numbers you need. Some of the numbers are a little big. Um, you could make tens and ones, you, you decide how you want to do it, but I, you could draw a picture, it's up to you. But I really do want the students to be doing this and parents, I know sometimes it's hard to watch your students do, your kids do something incorrectly, but that's okay. I, I need to know that so that I can help them learn next week. So. This should not take a super long time. Um, if you need to skip the game for the day, that's fine. Um, I do want you to turn this in. It's it's supposed to be on Thursday. So if you could try to get it done Thursday, Friday, over the weekend, maybe Monday, that's fine too. So um, I'm sorry about that change, um, but I think you guys will be able to do that. It's not too long. So, all right, I will see you next time.